All right, guys, so today I'm here in Summerlin in this new community, it's called Thribe. These are three-story townhomes. And I got my buddy Alex with me. You guys seen him on the podcast. This is his listings, right, and his teams, right? Mm -hmm. So he's taking over the project, uh, him and his sales team. Um, They've got a bunch of listings here and they're trying to liquidate some of these uh, properties. But Alex, before we get started, I want to talk about this community a little bit. So kind of explain the community. Well, we are in Summerlin, of course, and the community is called Thrive. We're okay. inside of the Allerton HOA, which means that you get these modern townhomes where you're in an established community mm -hmm. with a pool, gate, uh, park, playground, you name it, it's all in here. The location is prime. Okay. We're in downtown Summerlin still, walking distance to so, downtown Summerlin. Guys, we are literally in the heart of Summerlin. If you take a look, we are literally on Charleston in the 215. That is like the heart of Summerlin, correct? The heart of Summerlin. Okay. So we actually have three models to tour today. Correct. correct. Yep. What are the three models? The three models we have, what well, we call them small, medium, large. We have three okay. models ranging from the lowest, the smallest price, um, square footage, I'm sorry, is $1,495 all the way to 1757, okay. three different types of floor plans. So which one are we gonna start off with first? We're gonna start off with the crowd favorite. Okay. It is the only one that has the kitchen and living area downstairs. All right, so this is a little bit unique townhome here in Summerlin. Perfect. Front doors are up in the front, then the garages are in the back. That's not common here in Las Vegas. This no. is a little bit different. Why did they decide to do this type of building? It's a modern concept, okay. also higher density. Um, mm -hmm. you, you were going elevated, as you mentioned, three-story yeah. townhomes. So uh, it's the concept is to have like a lock and leave type, low maintenance. The HOA takes care of the exterior and the roof. So it's just for the people that want low maintenance in the heart of downtown Summerlin. Okay. So did you say this was the smallest unit right here? This is the medium unit. Oh, the medium mm -hmm. unit. Okay. Three bedroom, three and a half bath. Exact square footage is 1556. Okay. Uh, did you mention the uh, HOAs on here? HOAs are $264 a month. Okay, and you mm -hmm. said that includes the guard gated, which is I drove gate. through. Or, mm -hmm. Oh, actually, gate. gate. The reason I say guard gate is because I literally had to push the screen and enter my all, all my information virtual. in. And it's virtual. like like a virtual sort of assistant. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. weird, but I think it's a cool concept. But I've noticed that we got some other houses over here too as well, right? Yes, you have a more established community, which is Allerton. Okay. And that one has uh, a pool, uh, spa, it has a playground and a park. Does this allow access to that as well? Yes, of course. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So uh, square footage on this, you said it was how much again? 1556. 1556. So a couple of things that I already noticed as I walk in, I do love the loft style, but you mentioned uh, this is the right home for a family, correct? Correct. It, it has been the crowd favorite. We actually only have two of these left, okay. um, specifically because people like the downstairs kitchen, the living area. It has the master in the second floor. And then in the third story, it has uh, Jack and Jill with two large bedrooms, en suite, mm -hmm. and two balconies. Okay. So I've noticed that there are a couple upgrades here. LVP flooring, we have quartz countertops with the waterfall yes. edge, white shaker cabinets, full overlays. We do have some nice brush nickel here, some nice hardware as you can see. And obviously we've got some soft closing cabinets, dovetails. Backsplash. So the question is, if I want to buy something like this, right, typically on a new home build, I would have to pick all these options. However, that's not how it's sold here at Thrive, correct? No, everything is included. What you see is what you get. They're okay. ready to go. So the remaining models that you do have, mm -hmm. are they exact same model match with all of the materials? They're not model matches. The only thing that changes are the gray or white uh, cabinets. Mm -hmm. The stainless steel appliances are all the same and okay. the quartz countertops are all the same. Okay. And the flooring is always a, a mixture of the LVP and upgraded carpeting. Now the washer, dryer, and the refrigerator, is that included or can that be negotiable? That's there? negotiable. They, the builder is actually offering $25,000 in incentives. So we can play with the money however we want. We can offer a three, two, one buy down, okay. a permanent buy down, or you can get blinds, you can get all the appliances. We've even done prepaid HOA dues for two years. I mean, you name it, we can make it work. Okay. So kind of walk me through this unit really quickly. Just show me around what's going yep. on here. So you got the, the garages back here, like you mentioned earlier. Okay. So front door and then uh, back doors over here, the garage. So I'm just gonna push this open. It looks like it has a MyQ app, which allows to connect to your phone. Everything, the Bluetooth. Okay, so also is that a For electric charger? vehicles, ready to go. Okay. Yeah. One thing I've noticed here that's really nice, the garage is completely finished, which is 
textured and paint, which is very nice. And the ceilings are very high. So as you can see, this is a two car garage. However, this looks like it's big enough to put a car lift, believe it or not. I mean, this is probably what, 12 feet? 12 feet. Pretty decent size. So you can possibly get four cars in here, guys. And we've gotten people that have moved in and parked trucks in here. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I've noticed we have a thermostat down here. Do we actually have another thermostat upstairs? You do. We got a 14 sear and it's built by Mr. Cool. Okay. And where we're walking now is the primary, the master. You see the spaciousness of it. You got plenty of room in here. Put a desk, you can make a TV, you can customize it however you want. And more importantly, you have some pretty decent views depending on the unit's location. Okay. So this is the mid-size unit. The larger unit is the primary bigger than this one? It is a little bit larger than this okay. one. Okay. So it looks like we get ceiling fans here as well. Here's our second um, thermostat for your condenser, which is really nice. And then what do we have over here? The primary bath, which check out the size on this. It comes with a vanity, dual sinks. Okay. Shower, toilet, large closet. So the way that this looks, this is how it actually comes other than some of the materials, correct? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed here we got cladding from floor to ceiling in the shower. They finish it off with these nice finishings of the schluters here as well. And then we have the 32 inch countertop, which is really nice. Sometimes they bring it down low. Typically those are for kids, but I actually do like this. Okay. Now this is the part I like right here, Alex. It just makes it feel like it's open. So is that a balcony right there? Another balcony. Okay. We got balconies galore in these anywhere from three to five balconies per unit. Okay. So right here, what is all this right here? You got furnace over here. Okay. This one we don't really use, but you got your washer and dryer over here, washer and dryer area okay. over here. And is this a gas or electric dryer? These are gas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the rails are the same throughout. These exact rails is what you get. You got a nice balcony, extended balcony. Some of them are squared off, some smaller rectangles, mm -hmm. and then you have a couple that are huge. So how many balconies do we have total? And this unit? one, you're gonna have three. Okay, so this one's three. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they actually put a window here, so that way it brings a lot of light, so that's pretty cool. Before we jump into the bedrooms, guys, check out the large balcony over here. Oh wow, this is a pretty decent sized balcony, actually. This gives you a good perspective of as well of where we're at, mm -hmm. just a couple blocks away from Red Rock. Freeway access is like within minutes, and you do have like shopping galore there, because I think there's a, a Sam's Club and all that stuff, right? Costco, you've got Canyon Point Plaza, which okay. has anything you can think of on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. and you've got Red Rock, and of course, downtown Summerlin right next to it. One of the coolest, hottest shopping centers in all of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Restaurants, shopping, it has um, uh, bars, lounges, indoor, outdoor events. You have a Golden Knights practice facility. You have the ballpark, Aviators Ballpark across the street. I mean, it's truly the place to be Okay. in, in Summerlin. Then we got the two bedrooms. Let's check that out. We got the two bedrooms. So these ones are Jack and Jill. You'll see the generous size of these rooms. A lot of light. This one leads right into the balcony. Oversized windows. I mean, just very spacious, higher ceilings. So Very nice finishes. I've noticed on this one, the ceilings are nine foot ceilings, which is a plus, mm -hmm. especially on the third floor. The second thing is that we have a one-on-one, -on -one, which is we have the cat six and also the coax cable. Now I've noticed it in this room, are they in every single room? No, they're not in every room. Okay. They're in certain, certain models, certain plans that okay, they are. This one has the, and it's a little loud, but this one has the Jack and Jill. Okay. Then we have the water closet here and also the Tub shower combo, fiberglass, one piece. Into the next and another balcony so the other kid doesn't get jealous. So I guess the question is, which one is better, guys? Do I take this room with this balcony or take that room, but then I have to go outside to the larger balcony? Which one would you pick? I'd pick the other one, the larger balcony. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below which bedroom you guys would pick. All right, can we go check out the other units? Let's do it. For now, this is my favorite unit because of the loft style. Now we're gonna be heading over to the second unit and this is the smallest unit, correct? The smallest unit and it's 1495 square feet. 1495 square feet, how many bedrooms, bathrooms? Three bedrooms, three and a half bath. And a two car garage. Okay. Correct. Let's go take a look at it. 
All right, so this is the 1495 square foot plan. Okay. As soon as you come in, you'll of course see the stairs, the nice long windows that you like, and you have a bedroom downstairs immediately, which in this case we're using as a home office, has its own closet, and of course the full bath. You know what's good about this is if you decided to rent this out, you can actually have the tenant stay down here or like a of roommate. Course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll have like full access downstairs. And if they want to go up to the second floor to the kitchen, they can, mm -hmm. but it's completely separated. So I think this is pretty cool. And for roommates, you could have each one on their own floor, right? Because you have a bedroom and bathroom in each one. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so it's nice. Uh -huh. And then down here, you'll see again the two car garage, okay. same thing as the other one. And then you'll have coat closet and furnace. Okay. So this is the furnace, coat closet. A couple things I do want to mention on this one. We got LVP, straight edge cornering here on the um, walls, orange peel texture too as well. And we have four inches on the baseboards. All right, we're going to go upstairs. So this is a pretty hike upstairs here. How many steps we got here? I'm going to say 13, 14, 15. Working Let's out my calves. Under. <laughs> Leg day. All right. So you see why this is also one of the favorites. The nice high ceilings, beautiful countertops. This one has the gray cabinets, right? You saw mm -hmm. the white ones in the other one. This one has the nice gray cabinets. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like the gray with the whites. Now, a couple things I notice here is the ceilings are very high. These are probably, what, 10-foot ceilings, and we have 12-foot ceilings. But when I was actually walking upstairs, guys, it literally felt like a loft, even though it's not a loft. It feels that way, right? Mm-hmm. Again, a couple things. We have a waterfall edge, quartz countertops, undermounted sink, G package appliances. However, the, fur um, the furnace was gas. Is that correct? Correct. But then the dryer is gas. But what about this? That this one is electric. Do you have an option for gas? We do not. not okay, so all the stoves are all gas. Now, one thing I want to take a look at, does this actually exhaust out? Okay. So we don't have an exhaust that goes out, but actually you do have a filter here where it blows it back in. So if you're going to cook fried chicken, I probably want to do it because you'll smell the whole house. You can open up the windows and cabinets though. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> back here, you also have another full bedroom with its full bath and a balcony. Now you can really see where we're at. So this is not the primary. It's not. However, the question is if there's total of three of you guys, you're renting out two rooms, this might be the better room out of them all because if you are, you know, in the second floor, you got the kitchen and you got the living room. Full bath and you only have one flight of stairs. But we don't know that yet. However, if I had the option for the first floor or the second floor, I'm going for the second floor first, but keep this in mind, you can charge a little bit more money. But let's go take a look at the primary, okay? Got it. And let's see which one's better. So real quick, I do want to point this out, and I'm sorry, Alex, and I totally oh. forgot about this. So we have a bathroom that actually connects to this bedroom, and this is also for the guests as well. Right? That's correct. Okay. This one in this model, this is uh, the floor plan for okay. the layout for the bathroom. Now, guys, check this out. Look how large this window is right here. This window is probably a 48 by a 48 or maybe a 60 by 60 window. That's pretty cool right there. Huge balcony. We'll get to that in a second. But here, this is the largest primary okay even though it's the smallest floor plan so this primary bedroom was actually bigger than the one that we were just in correct after thinking about it if i own this property i think i would have the third floor to myself completely privacy the good news is on the second floor you'll be charging a lot more than the first floor <laughs> the premium mm -hmm. and you'll see very similar concept to the primary bath so on this one, we got the undermounted sink, mowing faucets. We have a makeup area. Here we have a walk-in shower, beautiful soap bar. Again, we have cladding from floor to ceiling as well. Right over here, we do have the water closet. Looks really nice. So you have the option from the gray or the white. But then the question is, how many units do you have left for this floor plan? For this model, we have four left. Okay. Out of... All four, do you have one that has white cabinets? We do. So look, guys, you have an option here. And check out this balcony. So the other one we were just in, you saw, yeah. of course, the large balcony. 
Check out the size on this one. Okay. Balcony is large. However, I've noticed the balcony is up in the front. So now the question is, I'm kind of torn because both units kind of have its pros and cons, right. right? But honestly, as of right now, I'm leaning towards the first one. I'm feeling the first one. This, this one has a lot of stuff, but the other one fits my lifestyle a lot better. The kitchen downstairs. I think that's what it is, and it's like the loft, and also we have the balcony out in the back. So The primary and the second. Yeah, I'm going for that one for right now. And now we're going into our largest model, the okay. floor plan. Now, how big is this model here? This is almost 1,800 square feet. Okay. How many bedrooms and bathrooms? This is the only one that you could do four bedrooms. It, this one is modeled, though, as a three-bedroom and a loft or open den area. Okay. All right, Alex, I noticed when I walked in, there's no carpets in this one. What's going on? Carpet free. Uh, there's Depending on the model, some of them do not have carpet. Most of them have a mix of carpet and the LVP. But this particular model, the largest one, doesn't have any okay. carpet. So some of the units may have carpet. They may have different materials. But the good news is what you see is what you get. They're all moving ready, ready okay. to go. But obviously, the price may be a little bit different from one model to another. That is correct, depending on the location and the view. Like, mm -hmm. for example, we have three on the back side that do have Summerlin mountain views. So what's the premium view? Is it more up in the front here or the back? The the, they were both. So the ones here, it, we're down to the last one here for the prime uh, Red Rock and downtown Summerlin mm -hmm. view. And then we have three in the back that have the mountain and the nice uh, Summerlin community views. Now, what I do like about the second floor here is that we do have 10 foot ceilings now versus the first that we actually had nine. Um, what's going on with this whole area here? So again, the San Francisco or East Coast vibe. Uh, kitchen on the second story mm -hmm. transitions right into the living area. Mm -hmm. You have two balconies on, okay. on this floor and two balconies on the next floor. But you have a half bath and they have another bedroom with a full bath. Okay, let's go take a look at that. There's your half bath, coat closet, another bedroom, bed, bath closet, and its own balcony. Perfect. I do like this. Very similar size rooms to the other models that you've seen as well. So we got a thermostat here, then we probably have another one on the third floor. That's correct. Was there a, th a thermostat on the first floor as well? Or there is. Two? Oh, so there's a total three. of three. So do we have two condensers then? It's one, two condensers. Okay. And all of them are R14. Okay, perfect. Two 14. So if we have two condensers, that means one condenser actually has two thermostats, which means it's a dual zone. Then we have one condenser that has its own thermostat, and that's probably for the primary that I'm guessing. Okay. You're absolutely right. That's where the third one is. And over here in the living area, you have another balcony. And this one space. faces the strip. Now, I can't see the strip just yet because I got to go <laughs> to the third floor, but it is facing the direction of the of strip. The First floor, second floor, as we're going upstairs, some of them had banisters. Are all the banisters the same as well? All of them the same. Okay. The They're community. All are the same. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Color, uh, color uh, schemes are the same as well? Exactly the same. Okay. Uh -huh. As soon as you get up here, you have your washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. This one has them included already. But it is also negotiable if it doesn't. Now, one thing I've noticed about this, these are actually front load. I prefer a top load. The benefit of this is that this builder actually has a drain pan, which is really nice. Just in case if it ever floods, we have the pan right here. As soon as you come upstairs, you walk into the primary. Again, you'll see the nice size of it. Its own balcony. This one you can see Red Rock in downtown Summerlin. Okay, let's take a look. So Red Rock Casino is right here. You could literally walk there. Now, here's a cool thing about this. You're probably not aware of this. Okay, if you wanted to walk there or ride your bike, this is Charleston. You could do that. It is very congested, but if you just go right down this road here, there's actually a bridge that goes yes. underneath, right? That you can go underneath Correct. the bridge. And a lot of people that live here will actually walk there because downtown Summerlin around like 5, 30, 6 o'clock when the sun is starting to set, it's a whole different Beautiful. environment. Different. It's like eat, work, and play, basically. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the residents, just like you mentioned, they do walk out down there. Yeah. 
except for those two, three hot months out of the year. However, I probably want to walk out get like one of those cool like electric scooters. There you go. See, That'd that's good. Cool. Large primary bath, you called it. Here's your third thermostat. Okay. And just like you saw in the one of the other models. So it's pretty much the same concept up here. Uh, looks like the closet is a little bit larger, which is really nice. Then we have our water closet here again. Uh, the primary bedroom. This one, I'm going to say it's probably a little bit smaller than the second one. Would you, uh, uh, no. Is it the second one? Yeah, the second smaller, one. Smaller. This is the smallest one. This is the smallest mm -hmm. one. Okay. So the first one was actually bigger than this one? Yes. Wow. I felt like this is pretty much the same size. The other one, this one's just a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. And then across, you'll have your third, I'm sorry, potentially the fourth yeah. bedroom. And then this one, we just have it vacant. Again, just to give the buyers a feel for what they, they can expect when they move in. Own bathroom, closet, and private balcony as well. So on this one, again, we have nice high vanity, 36 inches, actually 32 inches. And we have a pro flow uh, toilet and we have a fiberglass one piece, which is really nice. I don't like it when builders actually have four or five pieces. And the reason why is because now you start to have uh, all the grout lines. It starts to get dirty. I'm sorry, it's not grout lines, but all the caulking that's in between. You can actually get mold and I don't like that. However, one thing I do want you to keep in mind because this is fiberglass. When you clean this, make sure you have the right materials. A lot of you guys would take that green pad. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? You'll end up scuffing it because remember, there's actually a coating on here. However, if that ever happens, believe it or not, they sell a product. I'm going to have a link in the description below. And am I affiliated with that product? The answer is yes. You can actually buy the product and recover it and it seals it again. So again, if you guys want that, I'll have that in the link in the description below. All right, before we finish this video, I got a couple questions for you, okay? I'm a buyer, getting yep. started. Explain to me the process of buying a home here. Buying a brand new home here. We have our sales center that's okay. staffed uh, five days a week. Um, as soon as you come in, of course, greeted by one of us, well, somebody on our team, and we will get the ball rolling immediately. We ask about the, the agent if they have representation or not. Mm -hmm. We talk about the builder yeah. and we have the contracts ready to go. We also mentioned immediately the $25,000 builder incentive okay. that is being offered to all buyers, whether they're cash or financed. Okay. Five days a week. Is that Monday through Friday? And what are the operation hours? Operation hours are 11 through five and that is Tuesday through Saturday. Only days off for Sunday, Monday. Okay. Somebody's interested. They come over here. Uh, what's the earnest money deposit from there? Earnest money is $10,000. Okay. And how long does it take to close the transaction? once we have EMD? On an average, it's about 25 to 30 days is what we're seeing. Okay. Is there anything that I may miss that is important? No. Um, for cash buyers, anybody that's a cash buyer also mm -hmm. offering the $25,000 incentive. And in that case, instead of closing costs, and of course, we're covering the, the appliances, the blinds, HOA dues, prepaid taxes. So there's a, a, a way, a number of ways to make it work. Now, also remember, working with any builders out here, you have the option to negotiate, right? For more money, ask for closing costs, right? Like you said, if I want some blinds, some appliances, mm -hmm. make sure to request those items. Other than that, Alex, I really do appreciate your time for allowing us to come out here to tour your property. Now, if you guys are interested in this property, would like to schedule an appointment, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming. Pleasure to host you. All right, guys. Peace.